Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. All praises to the Most High. Um, you know, it's, I know it's been a minute since I made a video. Well, God never told me to make a video. That's why I didn't make one. And sometimes I do make videos when he doesn't tell me when it's just like, you know, I, I tell you that. I'll be like, oh, I just want to talk to you guys. But today God does have me. Um, to tell you something, he does have a teaching here. I This actually goes with um sexually un the uh, sexually undisciplined vi video um to repent but this is more so this is about whoremongers and um if you don't know what a whoremonger is i'm going to i'm going to read the definition so you get the great understanding of, of it okay so um meaning of a whoremonger um sexually licentious behavior as promiscuity concerting with prostitutes ex a leecher so um the latest like okay a pimp um here's another definition someone who concerts with prostitutes a leecher or a panderer someone who sells women or leeches off women they're a whoremonger um someone who sleeps with prostitutes and pimps out prostitutes a pimp basically so a whoremonger another definition a person who concerts with whores leecher and then the next one is the behavior of a whoremonger lewd licitiousness pimping right um and then if we go what is the biblical definition of whoremonger right whoremonger is an older term for a sexual sin right Let's just go here quickly and we'll get the scripture where whoremonger is from sexual sin is particularly challenging to discuss no it's not unless you're triggered by it a whoremonger according to the King James Bible is a sexually immoral person various online dictionary define the word similarly relative to the word whore with variations of a man who frequents prostitutes, one who lives licitiously or simply a fornicator. Monger is someone who buys or trades in something. We're more familiar with the term fishmonger, meaning someone who trades in fish. So you know that a whoremonger is someone who trades in sex. A man could even be a whore, like prostituting out himself for things like a whorelet. Or he could be pimping one. This is that's whoremongering. So at the time in the most popular use, whoremonger essentially referred to a person, a man, who engaged in sexually intercourse outside of marriage. It doesn't necessarily mean he frequently professional sex workers, but some it does. And the fact that's what it means. That that's what a whoremonger is. Okay, and then in the book in the King James Bible it tells us about whoremongers right not to be one so in the New Testament in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 5 it says for this you know that no whoremonger no nor unclean person nor covetous man who is a idolater so nobody who is a whoremonger no pimp no prostitute no unclean person, no covetous person wanting what people have. Um, if you never watched my video about spiritual covetousness. So nobody that's a whoremonger, an unclean person, a covetous person, an idolater, someone who serves idols, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So they don't have no, in there's no such thing as an inheritance for a whoremonger, an unclean person, a covetous man. Or an idolater they have no inheritance in the kingdom of God and God wants me to let you know the spirit that comes with when you're a whoremonger right when you're living that lewd life um, and when you're a whore um, it is actually the spirit called legion so you see in Luke 8 and 30 when Christ um, said ask the de that devil what what was his name he says saying what is thy name and he said legion 
because many devils were entered into him. So you see, um, when people live that fornication life and that whoremongering life, as a whore, as a prostitute, fornication, being a pimp, sleeping with whores, um, what they in they get is the spirit of legion. That's not one devil. That's not one demon. It's many. It's many. That's why it's really hard to deliver those kind of people because they're battling so much de devils. All right. So legion means a group, a large group. So a large group or in other parcelings, it may mean many. In the Bible, it was referred to the group of demons, a group. So when you whoremonger, you don't just get one devil on you. You get legions, legions of devils on you. That's, you know, those people need deliverance. And, and not even just that is the deliverance they have to go through. It takes a little while because they really got to be determined and, and know that's what they want and seek God's help with that. And if, you know, somebody could deliver them too, but they have to be celibate. They have to clean their body. They have to fast. They literally have to not fornicate. Because the spirit of legions is many devils. So they're going to have to go on fasting. They're going to have to be celibate and abstinent. Get familiar with the spirit of abstinence. And clean up their vessel and they have to repent because as we know there's no whoremonger that will enter into the kingdom of god no not sorry not not and there's no inheritance for them in the kingdom of god my correction so no there has any inheritance in the kingdom of kingdom of christ and of god just fixing my correction so it says for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman a narrow pit so we know whore, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. So do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. This is why the place is so wicked. This is why sex and prostitution and, you know, sexual perversion, profanity is everywhere because and the place is so wicked do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom. This is, this is why Babylon is fallen, because of the whoredom. And the land become full of wickedness. That is why the lands are full of wickedness, because of the whoredoms that they committed on the land. And not just that, another thing, the innocent bloodshed that they shed upon the land. That causes destruction, that causes judgments of God to fall. But the whoredoms have made the places, have made, look at the Western countries, the whoredoms have made the places full of wickedness. Now they're even trying to indulge the children in it. So um, basically, I don't want to rear off into something else because I'll probably get in my feelings talking about how they've just done so much ungodliness, unrighteousness with the children and their profanity and over sexualizing them and exploiting them so i don't really want to talk about that i'm just going to stay on topic beautiful people of god um so the god wants you to repent if you've been whoremongering for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit all right so and you have to get deliverance you know because it comes with the spirit of legion right and with legion, it it's many. It's just it just means a legion of devils. That's a whole group of devils when you're sleeping around. And then l l look at this: you're 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 whoremongering. You're a whoremonger, and you're sleeping with other people who are whoremongering. You're catching their devils. Remember, sex is energy exchange, spirits exchange, and things like that. That is why you're only supposed to be sleeping with one person at a time. But beautiful people of God, I love you all, and um, and I just want to say I've been 
I, I haven't made a video because I wasn't told to, but now I've been told to, so I made it, and I hope this helps you. Stay blessed, stay prayed up, because I'm telling you, warfare is ridiculous right now. Love you all. Stay blessed.